It was during the period of constant attacks by the Nandi warriors to the Lua village that a great warrior was born by the woman of the lake. The Langos, as the Luos used to refer to the Nandis, could attack the Luos, capturing their men and killing them. Leaving many widows and children fatherless. Luanda Magere grew up a fierce fighter and of great strength and tact. A warrior who could not be harmed by any kind of weapon. A man with a body made of rock, possessed by special spirit. In Africa, it is said that the day the monkey is destined to die, all trees are slippery. This came to pass. When one day, Luanda Magere fell very sick. As usual, his first wife, Mikai, could treat him in the most secret way. This very day, she was away to her parents' village. That very night, Nyalang was sneaked from her heart and was swallowed by the deepest darkness of the African continent. She carried the most important message to her village. Just one strike through his shadow, to the center of his heart, a great Luo warrior was fallen. The body that was Rwanda Magere, slowly turning into a massive human-shaped rock that to date stand tall in the Luo land among the fallen warriors.